A very good morning, my friends. May the revelation of the Word of God at this very moment fit into your mind so that you may understand the will of God for your life and understand the project that God has for you. The text that we bring today for you is in Matthew chapter 25 when Jesus says, Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Jesus starts describing how the kingdom of heaven is, how the kingdom of heaven is. So, he gives us an idea of how the person can enter the kingdom of heaven, saying, the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise, and the other five were foolish. Well, these ten virgins were supposedly people of faith, the ten people faithful to God, because when the Word of God speaks about virginity, it speaks in a spiritual meaning. It speaks in a way of purity, without any sin. When the person is washed in the blood of Jesus, so these ten virgins apparently are ten people of God and of faith. But he divides these ten virgins and shows that five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. The five were and are people who reflect and reflect those people who believe in the Lord Jesus with an intelligence, faith, with wisdom. Those people who don't use an emotional faith or enthusiasm, they use faith with intelligence, they think, reason, and evaluate the Word of God and verify if they are truly and willing to follow and obey the Word of God. And there comes the sacrifice. So the five wise virgins that took their lamps and obviously took extra oil in case they'd run out of it and they had spare. But Jesus said those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But they were faithful, they were God-fearing, but they didn't take oil. That's what matters. What matters is for you to take faith with safety and stability in the Word of God. So the five foolish didn't take extra oil. The question is, why didn't they take the oil? What was the reason for such a thing? What made them lose the conscience of taking extra oil? Because they were thinking of the things of the world. They surely said, as many who are watching us now, they say, I am from the church. I've been baptized in waters. I've been baptized with the Holy Spirit. I am of God. I'm an assistant. I'm this, that. So I don't need to take extra oil. I go with the faith that I have. These are the foolish. These 
are the foolish because they think that the oil that they have inside of them is already enough to keep the flame of faith lit until Jesus comes back. My friend, we know that many start well and end badly because they don't maintain persevering faith. So Jesus said that the wise took oil in their lamps. That means they kept the oil, they kept attentive to what would keep them with a faith lit up. This is what makes the difference. On the other hand, the foolish, those who were unwise, because they did not take extra oil with themselves, they were not worried with the oil and thought that the oil they had was enough. For example, I've been serving Jesus for 56 years and always in my faith in these 56 years, we had challenges, difficulties, tribulations, but I never, never left my faith. I never left my faith to go out. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Holy Spirit never let me slumber in my faith. So I kept this flame lit because I feared for my salvation. I was keeping my salvation and still keep it like the apple of my eyes. So it's not because we walk and serve God or because I am a bishop from the universal church or because I'm a servant of God that I will relax and enjoy my life. No, by no means. Now we have to be even more careful. I come to represent these five wise virgins that kept their faith, the flame lit, until the coming of the Lord Jesus. On the other hand, the foolish are the ones who left their lamps aside and started worrying about their own lives. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose, trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you. No. So, my friends, you, I, and each one of us that keep our faith alive in the Lord Jesus, we need to have discernment. If our lamp has enough oil to keep us in faith until the return of our Lord, or if our lamp is going out and we are worrying with the other things more insignificant of this world, which is what most people do. They forget what Jesus said. Watch and pray, for you do not know the hour that our Lord will come back. May God bless in the name of the Lord Jesus.